All right, let's go save that tribal. You are the most hard won tribal so far. And I didn't even get to, I don't even, I don't even get to revel in the proper success because we didn't complete this level, so I had to come back through again. I wonder if that means the boss fights happen every time? I don't know. I'll hopefully get better at attacking certain things and, you know, increased ammo reserves on my explosives will help me along with ex experience. Because being able to properly hit their weak spot in the right moment with a critical strike while having proper knowledge of how the fight works will just generally improve the situation. Where'd the tribal go? Grenade capacity. That's a weird choice. But yeah, the game doesn't the game doesn't make it especially clear that the enemies are just straight up not vulnerable and that you can only shoot them in special times. Did he run in here during the cutscene? Did I lose track of that? I was thinking about other things a little bit. He's probably in here, right? There's my ship. Where'd the tribal go? Oh well, I have three pips and I can't complete this level anyway, so hit There we go. <laughs> Eight remaining. Where? Well, this place looks important. It actually reminds me a fair bit of like the last level of Perfect Dark, the weird ruins of the aliens, and is and it does seem to be the enemy alien ruins because those those hieroglyphs and carvings of ants everywhere. Maybe, maybe this is the direct like maybe this is their their working. Oh, it looks so much like it. Oh my god. Oh, hey. They are consecutive games from the same developer, so... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Mizar's Palace. So this is it. This is the end of Lupus's campaign. It's really brief. Ish. His end of his campaign in the first part of the game. I think this might be where we figure... Like, maybe this, is, maybe this will indicate that I need to find all of the... Uh, Rivals. Oh god, I don't have any ammo. I didn't get any more ammo. Huh, huh. I died. Alright, I don't really like watching you just shoot Lupus's corpse over and over again. I have 800 pistol shots and nothing else. Oh my god! Alright, at least I have full health this time. Fuck. Right, I, need to, I haven't saved. I don't know how saves work. Like, when you're not a continues, how does that work? I actually don't know how continues work. <laughs> In old, old games, you ran out of continues to start the entire game over. I assume it's not like that. I think, I think if you have continues, you start that room-ish over. And if you don't have continues, you maybe start the whole level over, which... And at this point, I might as well just take them back. I remember thinking these guys were weirdly nis like. I th remember thinking these guys were like weirdly. Uh, there we go. Uh, sympathetic. Like I, I think I, I think I liked playing as them sometimes in multiplayer. Like the like the green ladybug thingy was like a weirdly sympathetic design. They're weirdly killable. Your bug is easy to kill. Yep. They all love rockets, though, and I don't have a lot of equipment to fight back against rockets right now. Nope, not dropping guns for me.
Look at that cool mirror reflection. I mean, they used it earlier in a cutscene. They're not going to just develop that tech for one cutscene. <laughs> Gotta flaunt that shit. Proper looking mirrors. What is you? I don't know what that is. That's diff- Like, there's a... We have two pads we've seen before. One is on all the dead ends, and one of them is clearly like a fuel pad. This is something else. Maybe it's in here? <laughs> night vision goggles. You found the night vision goggles. Stand on the relevant pad and press A to activate. Does it require resources? Oopsie. Well, this switches up the theme a little bit, huh? I don't think the night vision goggles requires a resource or drains over time. They just make panels that activate it manually so you don't just turn on whenever you feel like it. Seems you can't get in here without night vision goggles either, so... Probably just an aesthetic choice. We just wanted this level to look like night vision goggles, so we gave you night vision goggles at him for a minute. Changes the tension. You just thought you'd run in here alone, huh? How's that working out for you? Do I have real ammo yet? Nope. Ooh, they blowing up. Oh, they blowing up. Look at those heads go. Everywhere. Just everywhere. Collect the heads. The heads must be gathered. I have a little machine gun ammo, but not really. It's not great. I really need ammo. The game's being mean to me and not giving me any after that last mission when I had to blow all of it. So there's even further consequences for running out of ammo during boss fights. Why are the... That really looks like a, like a rune or a statue, but it's moving, which is way creepier. Ah, uh, increased ammo cap. For what? Machine gun capacity increased. Is that... Nope. I, I held out hope that increasing the capacity of a gun also gave you a full ammo for it. That is, what my, that is how my health works. It is really cathartic to be able to just like unleash without a, without aiming. I'm using instead I'm using the, the aiming mode to strafe. That guy's head came right up. Oh no! You asshole! Your head goes in the collection for that one. Everyone's just dropping pistol ammo. It's kind of rude. Ooh, ooh, what is it? Try rockets. I have rockets now, so when a really bad thing shows up, I can blow it up. Got machine gun capacity increased. It is a bummer they can kill me by they can hurt me by touching me. That didn't kill him. Uh oh, ah! <laughs> couldn't tell where the grenade was. There we go. Oh, this place is huge. Button? Elevator. That's not a ceiling, right? Okay. <laughs> it's not just crushing me. I think I went past a branching path I could have taken, and then ahead of me was another place I could have gone. Oh. This seems important. Hi there, hope I can make it. Oh, do you die forever, Fall Cliffs? Not forever, but like, do you suffer a fatal wound? Oh, I did not trust that jump. Okay. Alright. Anyone getting like mist vibes a little bit from this? Probably the mix of technology and like waterfalls and whatnot. I don't think I can do anything in there.
I'm going to go backwards. I'm pretty sure I missed a branch in the path that I wanted to investigate. It's where the ants were attacking me from a minute ago, I think. I wasn't sure which way, which direction to focus on at the moment. Is that where I'm... Wait, where do I go? Was it further back still? Yeah, it was here. Oh yeah, ammo increases. Yes. Shotgun capacity increased. No more ammo though. Machine gun ammo. And I blew up this box, so I've been here. I should probably blow up boxes as I go to indicate where I've been. I think that was the first box. Uh, I think I'm going to get very lost very quickly, honestly. Ooh. Getting shit, though. Oops. Off with his head. The no scope of I he just blew himself up. You fools. You just shoot their heads off. It's so brutal every time. Alright. Dumb coins that don't mean anything. And full homing missile ammo, yes. Alright, I'm starting to have some ammo types. I say they don't mean anything, because I think the I think your Mizar tokens reset every level. And there's only sometimes even a shop. I think if you have access to the full store the full level via every mobility upgrade, then there's a there's probably a shop somewhere. But even then the shop just refills your ammo and health, which actually one of those would be very helpful. Actually both of those are very helpful. Just generally speaking. It's just Whenever I encounter one, I don't particularly need it. Okay, I'm a little concerned. I don't see any alternate paths to take. This is a very dramatic cutscene that seems important. save. I would like to say I believe in myself, but I'm not sure if I believe in myself. Fuck. <sighs> okay, we made it. <laughs> Wow, that's, stretch that's stretching the limits of how much I think I can, I can accomplish. Alright, it's, it's still good that I went back. It's still good I went back because there was, there was multiple more ammo pickups and also maximum ammo increasers. So I was not done back there anyway. But yeah, I did not trust this jump. It looked too far. Grenade capacity increased. And something else, I guess. <laughs> it didn't tell me both. Grenade capacity increased. How many- have they increased- I feel like they've increased my grenade capacity multiple times this level. Over and over again. There's still four more. I think they're telling me that grenades are gonna matter in this level. They gave me 70! I mean, they would have given me 70 if they gave me any ammo. But they increased my cap to 70, which is nuts. I only can have two cluster bombs. This is apparently the ultra mega weapon that's like I'm supposed to save because I don't have two. These ammo capacities are all over the place. All right, well, I've got nothing else to do, right? That's the end. Where were they? 
where were they? I don't think I even remember seeing any kind of obstacle or log. I must have just gotten lost. I thought I looked everywhere and I guess I didn't because it's just like a confusing level. Hello. Freaky coins. Uh, rings, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the part of Jet Force Gemini where you finish a Sonic stage and get graded by Sonic scale. Well, this looks like a boss chamber. Or just a dramatic chamber. It looks like a room from Serious Sam because it's so goddamn big for no reason. What? Three triangles? There's no, oh, there's one in the middle of the rings. I see one over there-ish? Or something like that. Okay, so I guess this must be like the golden bars I had to collect. It's just a one-off collectible for one level. Because it doesn't jive with like the existing language of the level so far. It just comes out of nowhere like, hey! Here's a Triforce or whatever. Just go grab it. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, that's even with m even standing high jump doesn't give me that the standing still jump. Well, that's some really good spacing on the logo. He only hired the best people to make his palace, like awkwardly clips into the corner and around this and around this corner. I gotta say, I'm losing my mind a little bit. What in the fuck's happening? <laughs> There's just a weird tr there's just a weird pyramid in the middle of this temple and this area has no enemies. It's massive. There's spinning rings and some triforces. We've gone full weird. Wow, it's huge in here. Also not pyramidal in here. It's circular. Oh yeah, the game got real weird. Okay. I'm here for it though. Uh, when do I get ability? There must be something up there. Is that how I open this door? Yeah, so I, I get the fuel ability, fly up there, and then that probably lowers down while also giving me access to that whatever's on that side of the door. Okay. Games were designed to be replayed back then. I mean, they still are to some extent, but like, I mean, sometimes in some ways more than ever. If you look at like the Warframe Destiny model, but I mean, like, this kind of stuff. What an absolutely massive area. It's interesting that we're like right in the core of enemy HQ and no one is stopping me. Lupus can't open this door. This is a door apparently. Okay, somebody can open the water door. I would guess Vela, just because Ve just because she's blue, but that's all I have to go on. All right, there's that symbol we keep seeing, Triforce Pyramid. There's one up here. Yes, I'm being coy. I know what the symbol is. But in both KOTOR and this game, I, I, I just acknowledge... I just uh, avoid acknowledging certain things. Until they reveal themselves. Well, not acknowledging, but like explaining things. So I think they're saying that I need that in order to get any of the Triforces. Yep. This place just comes across as being infinibig. I'm just a little doggy. Mizar's Palace. Two continues. I got one back, apparently. Hey, guys. I'll always save you when I see you, even if 
we're not gonna be doing the proper run. I think they're trying to express to me just how far Lucas can jump. I guess homing was unnecessary. I should have just done tri rockets. I just didn't really want to be ambushed. Yeah, I think they're trying to tell me, yeah, Lupus can jump that far. Because, I mean, I got nothing else to do besides jump forward, right? I don't see any, like, secret platform summoning item around here. So he must actually be able to make it that far. Huh? Yeah, he continually proves to go significantly further than I think he can. Hey! Bonus feature unlocked. Those are always satisfying to find. Just because they're so weird and strange and they open up. But some of them are so easy and some of them are so not to find. Alright, so I've got a health cache here if I need it. I should probably avoid picking these up. Hello. They're all in coward mode. Oh god, what's happening? How you guys doing, hmm? Yeah, so yellow ants are coward mode ants, apparently. No prisoners! Dogs don't understand the Geneva Conventions. Only kill. I'm a war criminal. Yay! <sighs> Is this like the Hunger Games area of Antville? This is where all the pampered high class ants live that don't know war. And so they like they cower when I show up. Like we just want to hang out in our fountains all day. That's what we do. That's what we do with shield boys. We can definitely ration our health pickups a bit, a bit here. Yeah, these repeating hallways are definitely going to make it hard for me to tell where the hell I am. I guess I think they gave it up. Oh. I think they make, they gave the game so many uh, health pickups and so on, partly because of the combat and also because of the, uh, just so you can tell which hallways you've been to before, and I'm kind of fucking that by not picking them all up, because I'm trying to save them for all the damage that's incoming. That might, that might hurt me more than it helps me. You guys aren't massively dangerous so far. I have 100 grenades! Screw you guys. Oh my goodness, did I have this many grenades when I was playing as Vela? When she was struggling with these guys? There are so many hallways here, you guys. Maybe they'll make every bear savable in this level. I'm just hoping there's like a level select later on. Because <clears throat> how am I gonna navigate to the levels I need for each bear, and also tell which ones have bears to save. I really hope they give me like a, a level select that also tells me how many bears are in each level that I haven't gotten yet.
What? Really? What? <laughs> I don't have a flare gun. I don't have flares, do I? No. This is just a wall. It looks like an exit, because that's what exits look like, but it's just not. Surprise. What you see me employing now is the hug the right wall strategy. Or for the sake of thoroughness, I will hug the right wall. And we're just going to navigate the whole maze like that, because I'm crazy. And then we'll nef then we'll definitely know if I found it. Look at this. Either these are respawning, or I missed them all. I'm not sure. Why are these not doors? I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Did I shoot that one crystal? Is that why it's out of line with the other ones? Watch there be like illusory doors like in Dark Souls around here. Just to make it more complicated. Okay, so we're back where we started. Let's continue to hug the right wall strategy. Every enemy should hopefully be gone now. Is this the coward room? Yes. This is a hell of a maze. If I didn't have an audience, I might actually... Like, start... I might be pausing constantly and like drawing a map as I go along. Just to feel like I have a chance. Is this just a little dead end? Yeah, so I, one issue here with my ability to be thorough is that I think that the Mizar tokens regenerate whenever I leave the room in any capacity. This long chain hall really does feel like it's the important door, doesn't it? Really? I'm... Um... I'm questioning that. It's worrying me. That looked like it was so clearly the important path to take. And it was... Not a door. <laughs> Not an open door, anyway. Is there a way to open them? What's going on now? Why are there a bunch of paths that just end in a black wall that looks like an exit, but isn't? Huh. Either way, I'm still getting tribals. So I'm still being rewarded for this approach, so let's stick to that for now. Do, 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 do. There's technically a ledge up there, but it doesn't seem to have anything on it. I was supposed to hug this direction. Ah, Miser Token's going into darkness. Are you saying that this is the darkness that's real? What is happening? What? Don't those have to be doors? Like, why? Why are none of them doors? Wait, that was the entire area. If I hug the right wall now, I should just end it back where we started, basically. Okay, now we've pretty okay, now, now I can confirm we've we've searched the entire place. So we have nothing left to do here. Oh boy. 
I may... Alright. Let's take a break. We're at the end of an episode anyway. I may need to take a little peek at a guide. I don't see a puzzle to solve. And I just gotta confirm, like, what if it's like you can't proceed unless you saved every tribal until now or something? I just need to be very sure. Or like, what if I can't solve this level till I have access to the tribe forces? This may be... I may have hit an actual dead end. I just I need to confirm that, I think. I'll see you next time.